And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC 26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Temperatures today running a good 8 to 10 degrees warmer than what we saw yesterday. So after three straight days with highs in the 20s, we made it back up into the 30s. And what you see is what you get here for the foreseeable future. Let's take a look at your seven day temperature trend. Our normal high is 24 and we're going to be running about 9 to 10 degrees above that right through the weekend into early next week. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. Temperatures that are mainly in the lower half of the 30s, although Anago is currently 29. In Green Bay, it is overcast and 32. The winds have really diminished from earlier today when they were gusting between 20 and 30 miles per hour. In the valley, the temperature is 30 with south winds at 10 miles per hour. Lots of clouds across the area today in response to our next weather maker, which is this frontal boundary. And I'm calling it a quasi stationary frontal boundary because it's going to kind of move back and forth here over the next couple of days as areas of low pressure ride north and east along it. And as each area of low pressure moves north along that frontal boundary, we're going to have the chance for some snow. We've had a lot of snow to our west and northwest throughout the afternoon, and now we have a large area of snow developing here across central Iowa. That's going to be overspreading northeast Wisconsin later on tonight. As we zoom in closer to home right now, you can see that most areas are still dry from the Fox Valley towards the lakeshore, but north and west, it's been snowing for much of the day. Anago's already had about three and a half inches of snow, two inches in Wausau, four inches out towards Medford. Skycap shows the snow becoming better organized later on tonight across northeast Wisconsin. And then once it gets here, we're going to have on and off periods of snow through tomorrow, tomorrow night into Friday, Friday night and also on Saturday. So we'll see an inch or two across most of the viewing area tonight as we move through tomorrow, tomorrow night and early Friday morning. Another inch or two of snow is possible. And then we could see another inch or two as we make our way through Friday and Saturday. So by the time we get to Saturday evening, it looks like most of the viewing area will end up with about three to six inches of snow, although some locally higher amounts are possible. Now, along with the snow, we're going to have above normal temperatures Today was another one of them. Highs have now been above normal 31 of the last 33 days. We had a big warm up across the central part of the country this afternoon. Temperatures running 15, almost 20 degrees warmer today compared to yesterday. Many spots in the 30s and we're going to see those 30s continue as we head through this uh, upcoming weekend and right into next week. In fact, tomorrow we can expect temperatures pretty similar to what we saw today. And once again, here's a look at your extended forecast, which takes us all the way to February 1st and it calls for much above normal temperatures. So tonight snow developing. Watch out for slippery roads. Temperatures holding steady tomorrow. Periods of snow. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 33. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to Agape of Appleton. And we did that today. I forecast 32. The actual high temperature was 32 degrees, which means I've now hit 82 of the last 84 three degree guarantee forecast periods of snow on Friday and Saturday, mostly cloudy on Sunday, mostly cloudy on Monday and Tuesday, and then we'll have a chance for some more light snow by the time we get to Wednesday. Watch out for slippery roads the next several days. 30s all the way across the board. Yeah, Not no bad. cold air in sight.